What is a smart device? In the most simplified sense, any electronic device that operates interactively can get connected to networks or devices is a smart device. And I'm sure most of you in this room have at least one smart device with you, right? But do you know the cost of the cheapest smart device today? The cheapest smart device today stands at less than $30. Yes, it's true. The cheapest smart device today stands at less than $30. So imagine with a penetration of internet to the remotest parts of the world and such high affordability of these devices, we will soon welcome an era where the bottom of the pyramid is on this smart device. Who is this bottom of the pyramid? I'm talking about farmers. I'm talking about the slum dwellers, the remotest villages, children without any access to quality education, women without any financial means to sustain themselves, homeless refugees all around the world. And in the next decade, we will welcome an era where the bottom of the pyramid is on the smart device. Does it sound unbelievable? Well, let me take you a decade back. A decade ago, India, Nigeria, Brazil had one of the lowest number of mobile connections in the world. Today, these countries are the top five countries in the world with the number of mobile connections. I'm sure a decade ago, this was unbelievable. Ban Ki-moon, the UN Secretary General, this year has said that we are the first generation that can eradicate poverty completely. We are the first generation that can eradicate poverty completely. And I fully endorse it. And I think these smart devices have the power to get us there. One of the issues that I have been deeply involved in and been passionate about has been early child education for the bottom of the pyramid. You might wonder why. Why early child education? Well, meet Ravi. Ravi lives in a slum near my house in India. He's five years old. His parents are daily wage laborers. He goes to a school with limited resources. Ravi cannot speak or read basic sentences, which he should by now, since he is five years old. Ravi suffers from word gap and digital divide. You might wonder, what is word gap? Word gap is the lack of 30 million words in a child's vocabulary by the time he is five. 30 million words lacking in a child's vocabulary by the time he is five? Unfair, right? And what is digital divide? Well, in the simplest sense again, one section of society getting all the access to technology and internet, while the other getting none. So in 2014, January, I came to San Francisco looking for solutions for Ravi. I wanted to see how in the US, the problem of word gap and digital divide was being fought. I wanted to see how in this country, the early child education was being given to the bottom of the pyramid. I was shocked by what I learned. US has the second largest child poverty in the developed countries right now. Do you believe it? A 
about a third of four-year-olds don't even make it to highest quality preschools. Unfair, again. This is when I met Sophia. Sophia lives in the Mission neighborhood of San Francisco. She is four years old. She goes to a public kindergarten. Her parents work two jobs a day and hardly have time for her. Sophia cannot count, read, recognize any of the alphabets, and she is four years old. Both Ravi and Sophia, though miles apart, share the same fate of word gap and digital divide. And sadly, they are not alone. About 250 million children in the world right now cannot read or write. 1.5 million teachers were required in the classrooms by 2015. These are not small numbers. We are talking about millions. According to UNESCO, just by giving basic literacy skills, we can lift 171 million people out of poverty. So basically, when on one hand, the children who can afford education are getting state-of-the-art infrastructure, smart classroom, latest advancements in the technology, these children at the bottom of the pyramid are being left centuries behind time. And basically, having a smart device or not having a smart device is going to decide whether or not Ravi or Sophia will come out of poverty, will have a sustainable future, create great communities, or maybe get equal opportunities as us. For these children, there are two challenges that they face. One is reach, and second is accountability. Reach because they don't even have the access to high quality solutions. And accessibility and accountability, the current solutions that they have are not giving out the desired learning outcomes. So, focusing on this issue, we created a prototype learning game platform which could run on the cheapest of devices in the world. And why games? You all know that the most innate, intrinsic motivation of every child who is three years, four years, or five years is to have fun, to play games. And research has shown that games make the environment immersive, engaging, and bring out the most creative side of us. And while these children play these games on our platform, their learning outcomes are being measured, and real-time insights and reports are being given out to see the level of learning for every child. With technologies like Siri, Google Now, these smart devices are becoming more and more intelligent. They understand even our natural language, and they respond to it. So imagine in a refugee camp where there is no teacher, this smart device can be a self-learning platform for the child. Using cognitive computing, we have reached a level where we can measure the level of learning of the child right now and provide the right content for the child to grow in a step-by-step -step way. These learning outcomes are being measured at the most granular level on this device. And once they are measured, the child experiences an endless learning experience. He is no more into just a classroom, which is teaching him the age-old education. He becomes his own master. He takes his own responsibility. So what did we do with this platform? We took it to a couple of schools in India. The children loved it, and I wish we had more devices to give to everybody. I have a short glimpse to show you how children reacted to these devices and the platform. So these are the kids playing on our platform, which we called the School of Games. 
You can remember it by the School of Rock, so School of Games. And this kid, particularly, didn't want anyone to touch his device. And I seriously wish we had more. So looking at this, I want you to see this picture very carefully. And remember that we are welcoming a new era where the bottom of the pyramid is going to be on the smart device. And I'll leave you with this thought that we are the school of games. And we believe that literacy can bring innovation and a lot of imagination. And this can prove to be so powerful that these kids will be able to bring a change and create a revolution in this world. Thank you.